Hey there, Navy Dot5184 here, and welcome to my next reaction to Star Wars The Acolyte. This is episode four titled Day. So before we get started, I want to get back into episode three because after watching it again, I realized that there's actually a couple things I missed that actually got me really ready uh, to see where this story goes. Um, a, a couple things I do kind of want to hit on because I know that there are some things I was trying to say uh, in the last video that just weren't quite coming to mind but um like the witches I, it's one of those things like I said I wasn't fully feeling it at first but then you know when I kind of started putting things together it kind of made sense like I'm thinking about the night sisters and you know how um you know the the coven and acolyte were um referring I pretty much the force as the thread which made me um think when um in Ahsoka, um, I believe they were called the Night Sisters, but when they, um, you know, when everybody arrived to Peridia and um, when Thrawn was asking about the prisoner uh, that they're referring to as Sabine, um, how Thrawn was telling them, you know, basically it's like, y'all didn't tell me about this. And they were talking about how it was a loose thread that they didn't see. Which actually I feel like was probably meant to kind of tie it in, you know, because they call it the thread, you know, but it's like you know, obviously like one loose thread and everything, you know, can really kind of change the way, you know, a piece of tapestry might work and everything. So that kind of pieced that together for me. Um, but the main things that I didn't see at first that I did notice after uh, rewatching the episode is... This, the scenes where you see all the witches and you see them all dead. The thing that I did not notice was apparently, you know, they were all killed because of the fire that May started. But at the same time, you know, when I think about it, you know, you think about the time that went between where the fire started and then when Osha was crawling in through the uh, shaft and then you just hear that loud explosion, you know, Initially in my head, I'm thinking good Lord may what are you doing? But when you look at all the dead bodies the one thing that I did not really see It didn't look like they would died from like fire damage And the other thing that was kind of odd when you think about it was when soul was running in uh, to find Osha and May You know, I didn't think anything of it at first, but then when I thought back on it, I'm like wait a minute why is he going for both of them when Osha was the only one that's going? You know, and then... I don't know, something seems really fishy about that. Because like I said, all those witches, I don't think there's any way May herself could have done all that, you know. But May and Osha, you know, were doing that back and forth. You know, what have you done and all that. So I wonder if there's something that went on between the witches and the Jedi because the other thing that I thought about and that made me think about that is two things involving uh, Indara and Torben. Uh, the first thing was when May confronted Indara and Indara was talking about how, you know, the Jedi don't, you know, draw their weapons on unarmed and May matter of factly said, yes, you do. The other thing was when May confronted Torben and was talking about confessing his crime to the Jedi Council. Which tells me that there is a lot more to this story than what we saw in Episode 3. And I am very curious to see if anyone comes forward and gives that because it kind of made me think about um, the movie The Last Jedi where you got three versions of the same story. You had Luke initially telling Rey what happened between um, him and Ben. And then you have uh, Kylo Ren telling his version of the story. And then at the end, Luke finally told the full story. I feel like if we were to compare this, you're going to have the story that, you know, we were just shown in episode three. And then you're going to have May's story and then at some point we're gonna get the full story on there where you know it's like maybe the jedi you know weren't as completely clean in this as we thought but 
the one thing that we can pretty much sure is that you know say may's story wasn't exactly the truth either you know but that was just his point of view and that's a very common theme i feel like with star wars is it's all a matter of your point of view so i'm really anxious to see if anything else gets told in this particular episode um i'm honestly still a little miffed i'm like you know why not let soul and company go to kofar and try to save kelnaka because you know that's going to be the next target but it's just so weird and i still want to know how in the world may survive that fall was she saved by somebody in terms of being you know the force or whatever or is there just something we just don't know maybe that's something may will get into i don't know all i know is that they've got it done in such a way that i'm definitely ready to see more where the story goes and definitely waiting for the payoff on there so um i'm going to assume that episode four is probably gonna um continue the journey and you know we see what happens with kalnaka i'm not gonna lie i really would love to see a wookie using a lightsaber i mean it's already interesting you know seeing a wookie using the force but i would love to see a wookie using a lightsaber i'm not gonna lie so uh i think we'll just go ahead and uh get started with the episode and uh let's do it Hey there, thanks for stopping by and I appreciate you being here. If you enjoy the content and would like to give some extra support to the channel, feel free to check the description for various ways to do so. Some which will include an affiliate link to Dubby, uh, which you use, you get a 10% off your order. And also a link to my merch store, which is constantly running promotions and deals, as well as a link to my Patreon page, which you can get exclusive perks and content. Naturally, liking the video and leaving a comment helps as well. Thanks again and enjoy the video. Naka cooking it up. Wait a minute. Wasn't that wasn't that the symbol for the witches? Diminish areas <clears throat> of vulnerability. This must be bringing back some memories for OSHA. Thank you. For what? For helping me find my sister. Prove my innocence, clear my name. I was just doing my duty. I may never have known for certain May was alive. May is the Jedi's problem now. And I'm not a Jedi. Don't tell me you'll miss me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like they hit it off pretty decently. Next time I'm on Coruscant, though, I'll look you up. And we'll go to a cantina and trade stories about Master Soul. <laughs> Did you say goodbye to him? I've caused him enough trouble. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of a friendship that I kind of hope they don't do away with. I feel like that has some strong possibilities, honestly. Like, they both have something that they can offer each other. You went in there and risked your life for my master? No, I risked my life. To help you. You know, your sister being alive doesn't change anything. You need to kill the Wookiee. You made a deal. I really want to know his story. Like, how did he hook up with May? How does he know so much about what she needs to do? I mean, Grant, you could have probably told him, but it almost feels like he might be more important than we think. An apprentice who doesn't know their master. It's absurd. This girl could become a major threat. Mm. She's not disciplined. Yet she eluded you, and she killed two Jedi Masters. I'm already seriously disliking that person. We must alert the High Council. The High Council would be obliged to inform the Senate. A scandal like this would inspire fear and mistrust. We should handle this ourselves. We must learn who trained her. Master Holden, extract Kalnaka from his post on Kofar and intercept May. This meeting is adjourned. What is up with her? I'm getting a really bad vibe from her. I'm not even gonna lie. Why didn't you tell me there was a chance this poor girl survived? If I thought there was, of course I would have. I saw her fall. No one could have survived that. 
What's up with those two? I fear May is only a small part of her master's larger plan. A plan that is difficult to see. It's already starting. Lift. Something to tip the scales. She will not surrender without getting something in return. Do we have something she wants? Yes, you do. Osha. As if Osha hasn't taken off already. Can't believe my sister said I scum. What was she like when you spoke to her? Of course, they had to use the word scum. She seemed in over her head. <laughs> Honestly, she seemed really fond of that one Jedi Master. What was his name again? Soul? I don't know, y'all. Some seemed really fishy with this guy. He's, he's got to know more than what we're being revealed. I need you to come with me on this mission. I can't. When I told May you were alive, she became a different person. You can't really deny that. There is still good in her. The part of her that loves you. There, that is such a reoccurring theme. Everybody always seeing the good in somebody. Oh, who do we have here? <laughs> Who's that? That's Basil. Any questions, civilian? No, no, very comprehensive briefing. <laughs> I like that even Jackie looked amused with that. <laughs> Kalaka is in there. Yord, I need to ask you a favor. Soul thinks that May can be saved. Master Soul is a wise Jedi. You must have reason to suspect May will listen to what you have to say. But if it comes to it, and she doesn't listen to me, you need to stop her. I won't be able to do it. Osha. Please. I can't hesitate a second time. May has always been your wound. Maybe Soul brought you here to face her. But maybe he brought you here to face yourself. All right, you're speaking some truth there. But I think she kind of confirmed the thought I had at the end of episode two where she did, where she missed her shots on purpose. Keep up the pace, keep down the volume. We don't know. And we don't want to know what lives out here. Uh. Uh-uh. Nope. Mm-mm. Nope. Y'all can keep that. Y'all can keep that. Mm -mm. I, I don't want no. I don't want none of that. I have it. <laughs> All right, I finally get to see him. It went straight for the saber. It's attracted to light. Let's move. Not gonna lie, I wish I could have seen some more, but actually, now that I think about it, this is only the second time. Are we really seeing a lightsaber in action? I mean, I know that one uh, guard at the Jedi Temple in Episode 2 drew his, but he didn't use it. I was able to sense that creature, but I disturbed it, and now it's dead. It's always an honor to get to witness anything or anyone transform into the Force. That's an interesting perspective. I couldn't accept what I'd lost. How unfair it felt. The resentment that I felt for my sister. Even though I, I missed her at the same time. We're not defined by what we lose. We're defined by what we survive. We've survived a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Jackie is showing a lot more heart than I expected from her. <laughs> I totally expect her to be a true by the book Jedi, but she's showing she's got a lot of heart. You will kill a Jedi without a weapon. Attacking a defenseless person goes against everything the Jedi stands for. How do you kill someone like that? It's not impossible. You know that. Here. I'm gonna find you more water. You need to rest. You're losing your nerve. 
We can't have that, can we? I don't see him. What? Basil. Great. He's vanished again. <laughs> again? We've lost Basil. Whoa. The hell? After running through that forest for an extremely long time, I realized something. I don't need to kill a Jedi without a weapon. I don't need to keep this deal. What? I'm I'm curious. I'm very curious. What I'm going to do is surrender myself to Kalnaka. And then turn myself into the Jedi. No, 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 stop, stop. Did not see that coming. Definitely did not see that coming. He'll kill you. You'd have to find me first. Uh, May! May! Oh. So I was talking when she said it. She's going to use her master as a bargaining chip, as like a plea deal type. So she does know who he is. I sense things again in a way that gives me the courage to face her. You're going to face your past. Once we get May safely to the ship, I'll explain everything. I promise. Were my suspicions correct? So the Jedi must have had something to do with the destruction of the coven, not May. Stay behind us. But not stay behind, just behind them. So how's this gonna go down? What the wait, wait. He's here. How? Has that, has that fool been following there? Soul senses it. Oh, uh, Osha? 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 Now is not the time to stand still may maybe an assist Woo! okay i'm not gonna lie that's kind of a cool visual right there whoa, no, yeet. <laughs> whoa. you are not ending it right there you can't at oh my god no, you can't end it right there. All right. That was Star Wars The Acolyte Episode 4 Day. And man, I got to say, a very slow paced episode. I was honestly expecting a lot more action in there. But um, I will say that it definitely seems like um, some of the suspicions that I had earlier on um basically have been i guess you could say indirectly confirmed because i was talking about how it just seemed weird how that coven you know like it didn't feel like that you know it was just the fire that killed them and what soul was talking with osha it sounds like the jedi had a lot more to do with that than we thought and that might be why may herself is so you know wanting to go against that but here's the thing and i kind of had a feeling that once may learned that osha was alive that things are gonna change and clearly they did because may took a huge 180 she decided she was not gonna kill kanaka she was gonna turn herself in and apparently she she ha either knows or has an idea who the master is because she i guess she was going to use that as a bargaining chip for you know either complete um i mean i don't see how she couldn't get you know go completely unpunished but but then when she reached kalnaka 
and his saber wounds were fresh and she knew he was there and I'm trying to figure out when and how I mean has he been following her this whole time is that why like he was able to find Kanaka so quickly and honestly I'm also very curious on why the master did nothing outside of yeet um osha i mean that poor girl was like frozen i'm so i i fully expect that at the very least may would have tried to come out for an assist or something but but right when everything was finally about to pick up because like i said a very slow paced episode that was purely it seemed like it was pure for pure setup and right when the action was about to start that's where the episode ends. It's like, y'all, you can't end it like that. I'm like, oh, man. So, I mean, so I definitely won't call this a fun episode, but definitely an episode that I don't know. Like I said, there's a lot of things that kind of were running through my head, you know, like with Vernestra. You know, it's like I was talking about how I was getting bad vibes from her, but then all of a sudden you had those two other Jedi in the temple that were kind of listening in on her and Saul. And it's like, well, what's up with you two? Which kind of makes me wonder, what do other Jedi know about what happened on Brendoth? Like she was talking about, uh, Vanestra was asking, you know, why didn't Saul tell her about what happened like 16 years ago? Which really tells me they probably don't. Like, the story that we saw in Episode 3 is probably the story of the Jedi, I think. But the way Soul was talking, there's way more to it than that. But it's also kind of annoying in the sense because I know what's going to happen to the Jedi from the prequel um, trilogy. And I guess it's just, in a way, what I call annoying is because it's like... Everything seems so obvious to me, like the the route they're starting to go down. And even when Vanessa herself was talking about how, you know, it feels like there's like a shift and everything. It's like that, it, you know, and I think that's the whole point of the show. It's like, this is where it really starts going downhill for the Jedi. I mean, people think about, you know, how it kind of goes downhill, you know, in episode two, you know, Attack of the Clones. But like, this is where it really starts. You know, and, you know, it's like they're just so caught up in, you know, the politics of it already that they're probably really losing, I guess you could say, their connection with the Force in a way. And that is why Palpatine was so easily able to do what he did. And I feel like that this is really, you know, showing it and it's showing it well. And I think that's why I'm getting so annoyed with the Jedi, because I'm like, you know, because I know what, where this road's going to take them, but they obviously don't. And that's just the whole thing. And that's even something Luke was talking about in The Last Jedi, you know, just talking about, you know, everything that happened that allowed, you know, for the rise of Palpatine and the Empire. It all starts right here. But I still want to know, who is this master person? Is That right now is the biggest mystery for me. I'm probably going to go back and uh, I'm probably going to watch some other people reacting to this because I'm curious to see what other people's thoughts on this is and, uh, I'll, you know, obviously rewatch it because I don't know, maybe I'll have something happen that happened to me last episode where once I rewatch it, something will kind of surface that I just didn't notice before or maybe it was something that I was kind of given a little thought and I missed. Like I said, I almost missed the idea that May must have an idea of who this master is and i definitely want to know i have no idea when it's going to be revealed uh see this is just episode four so we got five six seven and eight so we got four technically four episodes to go why does that not feel right in my head whatever <laughs> i mean i know it is but for some reason it doesn't feel like it you know it's like we're at the halfway point now so you know this is probably really really where it's gonna start you know, getting heavy. At least I think this is eight episodes. It better be, because there ain't no way they're going to get this full story told in just six episodes. So, I hope it's at least eight, but... Woo, doggy. Man. 
way to leave me ready for the next episode right when things were just finally starting to pick up in that episode so anyhow i'm gonna go ahead and uh leave it at that thank you all for uh stopping by and um i will catch you guys in the next episode